Oh, <laughs> hey, didn't see you there. My name is Tom Kelly. This is Clean Cut Audio, and that's the sound of my phone charging. I have something very special for you today. For those of you that don't know, I have this insanely detailed course on equalization for podcasting. And up until now, it is 100% been behind a paywall. However, today I want to share with you one of my favorite lessons from this course, absolutely free. I had a student send me some audio that was a little messed up. They had a shotgun microphone and they put it directly in front of their computer monitor and it caused a really gnarly resonance that was pretty hard to get rid of. So in this video, I am looking at how we can get rid of this resonance, clean up the tone from these early reflections without compromising the integrity of the vocals. It was a pretty tough one to deal with, and I'm really excited to share with you today. If you're interested in the course, there's a link in the description below where you can check out the advanced guide to equalization for podcasts, voiceover, and film, and there will already be a 20% off coupon applied. This course will teach you everything necessary to master the art and the science of equalization. It is about seven hours long. There's a ton of lectures and physics lessons, but also some real life practical demonstrations of how I equalize a ton of different scenarios and how I try to make podcasts sound better through equalization. All right, let's do it. Okay, we have up next, my buddy Colin was testing out a bunch of different microphones. And this is what I strongly encourage everyone to do, to try to find what microphone works best for you. I know not everyone has this luxury to try out, you know, many, you know, even mid-tier or expensive microphones, but he wants to get a great sound for his podcast, which again, we'll put a little, uh, little promo for it down below. You should check it out. But he tried a shotgun microphone, a Rode NTG1, I believe it was, NTG2, NTG2. And it is a, I, I think it's super cardioid. Essentially, if this is a microphone, I'll put a graph up here too. And a cardioid microphone picks up in, in a, like loosely a heart pattern around the front of the, the diaphragm right here. What a super cardioid does is it takes this heart pattern and it narrows it. The trade-off is you also get a little bit of sound picked up from the back. And what happened was he put the microphone right in front of his computer monitor. So what happens is his voice bounces off a reflective surface right into the back of the microphone. And from the beginner's course, you know about resonant frequencies. We know that they can happen just from the voice, from the physical design of the microphone, or usually your environment. So we got an environmental resonance that we're trying to uh trying to fight here and we'll take a listen we'll see if pro key 3 can pick it out we'll see if we can remove it and then i want to see what we can do with just soothe and no equalization because it, you can't do everything with soothe it's more subtle but we can uh, we can use it to help us out for sure are our genes our destiny in short no we are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how, as a species, we came to be, but it cannot define the sum of who we are made to be. For that deeper meaning, we look past our atom. It's a pretty high pitch resonance. Usually we don't get things that are this high pitched unless it's like in a really small space, really close, really tight quarters. And again, the microphone was right in front of the screen. So we have tight quarters here. Personally, I think it's above 500 hertz. So we'll narrow this, take a listen. I think that's it. <laughs> that's sounding pretty loud. It really shot up. I mean, you can tell that like nothing. Oh, and look at that. Oh my gosh. Can we take a look at this? Pro Q3 tells me it's 769 hertz. And I was... I was right on the money. 
Wow. Okay. And I don't have a cheat sheet. I'm I'm totally redoing this for you guys. I, I've already worked on these episodes, but I'm I'm redoing it to see if I can get it a little better. I don't like doing the same thing twice. But you could hear how loud the volume shot up right there. So this is definitely what the the sound that we're trying to get rid of. Whew, let's see if we can cut, I don't know, six, seven decibels. Are our genes our destiny? Because we're making big moves, let's turn on that auto gain. Are our genes our destiny? In short, no. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how, as a species, we came to be, but it cannot define the sum of who we are made to be. While we're here, for that deeper roll meaning, that we off. look past our atoms and cells and genes to the infinite truth of God, specifically revealed to us in the person of Jesus. In Jesus, we see the evolutionary expression of what it is to be human, to be homo sapien. Yet we also see the marks of the divine, caring, enduring. Okay, so that re- almost completely removed the ringing. That is phenomenal. And thanks Pro Key 3 for hooking that up. That was that was super cool to see exactly right there. It said, "Hey, I think there's a ringing." Sure enough, there was. This also looks like a ringing. We should be using our ears. But this might uh, this might help us out. Let's see if we can just pull this down. Let's see what that does. What does it sound like? Pretty loud. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how, as a species, I like that. I like that sound, though. So I'm not going to remove that much. Let's call it two decibels. Are our genes our destiny? In short, no. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how, as a species, we came to be, but it cannot define the sum of who we are made to be. For that deeper meaning, we look past our atoms and cells and genes to the infinite truth of God, specifically divine, specifically revealed to us in the person of Jesus. In Jesus, we see the evolutionary expression of what it is to be human, to be homo sapien, eating, sleeping, aging, yet we also see the marks of the divine, caring, enduring, forgiving. Real quickly, I didn't anticipate this. Let's do some quick math. What do we have here? 250 hertz. What's, what's here? Around 500. What do we have here? Around 750. These are all harmonics of each other. As we move up in the frequency range, we can perceive things a little bit better. So I think the initial resonance that we have is probably 250 hertz. We've got like kind of a wider issue at 500 and then a huge issue around 750 hertz. So we... I worked backwards here. I initially found this issue at 762. We could pretty easily see this issue at 250. And then I thought, man, if you split the difference, it's it's literally right in the middle there with the harmonic. So there's probably going to be an issue there too. And by removing this... Are our genes our destiny? In short, no. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're... We removed quite a bit of a problem, although I I think I don't want to remove that much because if we start cutting like way too much of this, again, I'm trying to equalize the environment here. The issue is not his voice, it's the environment. And when we take out the environment, we also take out the voice. So even though I probably want to cut more like three and a half decibels to remove the environmental sound, it's destroying his voice a little bit. So I'm going to split the difference and call it maybe two decibels. And it's going to be a compromise between fixing the problem and not creating another one. Are our genes our destiny? In short, no. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how we came to be, but it cannot define the sum of who we are made to be. We look past our atoms and cells and genes to the infinite truth of God, Specific- so we can probably do a little bit more with this. However, I think it's really hooking it up a lot, and I'm happy with what we did here. So I'm I'm not going to play with the high end too much because that's not a big issue, but let's see if Soothe 2 can hook it up even further. Are our genes our destiny? In short, no. We are, in fact, created to be more than what we're made of. Science can help us understand how as a species we came to be. This is what it's removing from the signal. Who we are made to be. For that deeper meaning, we look past our atoms and cells and genes to the infinite truth of God, specifically divine, 
specifically revealed to us in the person of Jesus. So we have a little bit of reverberation that we're not really trying to take care of right now. That's a different process. But this this really helps a lot. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with what, what we managed to do. In Jesus, we see the evolutionary expression of what it is to be human, to be homo sapien. So again... <sighs> It was, it was an attempt at a different microphone, a different performance, strongly encourage experimentation. Um, but this was a, you know, a bad mic technique by putting it right against a reflective surface, especially when we're receiving some signal from the back of the microphone. So let's move on now to the biggest issue we're going to face all day, this phone call. Like what I consider home, which is Northwest Arkansas and Southwest Missouri. It's a phone call. It sounds like a phone call. We're going to talk about what makes a phone call sound like a phone call and how we can fix it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, if you're interested in checking out the course, there's a link in the description below with a 20% off coupon already applied. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you'd like me to teach more of this stuff on the channel and stick around because next week I'm going to be sharing another lesson from the course absolutely free on what I call comparative equalization. How do we make two different sounding voices tie in nicely together? It can be really difficult, but we're going to tackle it next week. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.